Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 593. Hey, if you want to download the workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 591 to 595. In this trick here, we have a little schedule. Here's our times, here's our dates, and we have, um, we want to be able to select. Looks like I didn't do the uh, data validation there. I think I moved it. So this one is not about data validation, is it about another trick? Anyway, so we have a data validation, we can select our schedule, right? Um, but here's the deal. We have a date here, and we want this as our template. So at the end of each month, we come in and we uh, delete this. And then we want to just change the start date and have all of these update. So this is a Monday. Um, and I forget which days are Monday. Um, and so I want to put data validation here so that any date that's not a Monday cannot go into the cell. Now, um, we should probably do this right here. Um, the whole reason that this is so convenient is we want to say uh, equals, hey, this will be our Monday. And then right here, I'll say equals this cell, relative cell reference, plus 1. And I'll copy that over. And I probably want to do some custom number formatting like up here. So I'm going to highlight it and Control-1, the keyboard shortcut for format cells. Custom. Come down here and notice the sample, right? So I'm going to type D, D, D. And then you can see that there is our abbreviation, comma, space, and then M slash D. You can see it evolve up there. All right, so then I want to be able to change this. Uh, maybe it's the 17th, right, or the 16th. So I don't want to ever have this happen. I don't want to accidentally type the wrong date and then have the, the uh, labels here update. So we want to put data validation here, only allow Mondays. Then this will always be correct also as a result. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut to get to data validation. The long way is data validation right there, Alt-DL. Now, I don't want to allow any value. I want to go down to Custom. And here we can build a formula that evaluates to true and false. Anytime this formula evaluates to true, the data can go into the cell. Anytime it's false, will not be allowed to go into the cell. We're going to use the weekday function. The weekday function equals weekday. All the weekday does is it looks at a date, which is really a serial number, and it spits out a number. So by default, Sunday is 1, Monday is 2, etc. So I close parentheses, and this just still gives me a number. But if I say equals 2, I have converted a function that spits out a number. I've converted this formula to a logical function. It'll say true only when the date is Monday. Otherwise, everything else will be false. Now, I also want to put an error alert. I want to say only Monday dates, or whatever you want to put there, right? And then something down here also. Maybe better than that, but click OK. Now, when I uh, put today's date in, 5-7, it says, no way, only Monday dates. So I'm going to put a Monday date. Um, Right, and so now we have made our template a little bit more robust. We have uh, some formulas here for the labels for our schedule, some custom number formatting and data validation custom with the true-false formula. All right, we'll see you next trick.